Hello and welcome to Glider. In this walkthrough, we'll go over how to map your ideas onto your business model canvas as well as product canvas, test your ideas with research and experiments, and gather real market data in the form of evidence. The first step in Glider is to add your ideas. These can be in the form of business model ideas, which can be things like customers, value propositions, and generally relate to your business model, whereas product is going to be ideas that relate to your actual product. They can relate to the roadmap, features you're working on, and various iterations you might have of what you're currently testing in your project. Once you've built out your ideas here, which can be done by clicking the plus button here, or here, or here. There's a couple places to do the same thing in Glider because we never want you to have to go too far without being able to add a piece of data. So once you've added your ideas, the next step is to test them. In the discovery section, you'll run research and experiments. Research is going to be a bit more open-ended, such as we're going to talk to 10 customers in two weeks and learn what they care about, learn what pain points we could address, and so on. It's a way of generating new ideas and learning about the market. Whereas an experiment is a bit more falsifiable, it's we're going to talk to 10 customers in two weeks and offer them the product or service at this price point, and we think 50% of them will buy. It's for when you have an outcome in mind and you want to see if you're right. So in an experiment, you'll name your experiment, add your hypothesis statement, and if you're not sure what belongs here, we have some example text that gives you a sense of how to structure this. So in this case, we're running a standard smoke test, and we have resources in our Knowledge Center to give you some advice in how to conduct these kinds of tests. So we're going to create a landing page, drive traffic to it, and we think we'll see a 2% click-through. And here we'll just add our plan details. Down here, and this is one of the things that distinguishes experiments from research, we have success criteria, a way of knowing whether or not we achieved our goal and if we were right and we're measuring the number of ad viewers clicking through to our website, and we think at least 2% will click the ad and visit the page. Down here, you can connect your ideas. Up here, you can add a due date, assign it to certain team members, and add tags. Tags can be assigned to any data in Glider, and they're a way of showing different themes across your project. If you're ready, you can move to the next stage, Run. And what will have happened between these two stages is that we will have gone and done the work that we said we were going to do. To add your data, click the connections icon here. If you've already added it to your project, you can click it from this list. Otherwise, create new. Interview is going to be the type of evidence where you're interacting with a potential customer, industry expert, or so on. And other is going to be for survey results, marketing tests, and any other kind of data. Let's choose other. Here, we can say that this was the landing page results. We can enter a summary here, it can be the results, our thoughts on it. We can tag this data with a theme, connect a document if appropriate, and publish it when we're ready. But no worries, it will be saved as a draft if not. Let's go ahead and publish it and go back to the run phase. And here, we can rate this evidence. So we can say whether or not it counted in favor of our success criteria. Let's say yes. Let's say in this case we had a 50% click-through. And now we can start to rate our ideas in light of this evidence. We can say that this was fairly confirming, maybe neutral on this one, and maybe in this case distinctly confirming. When we're ready, we can go to the last phase, Analyze, to go over our results. So in this case, we found that we did meet our success criteria. We were right in terms of our hypothesis, and it was successful. But you can also say if it failed, or if it was inconclusive for any reason, and that will serve as a system of record in the future. You can still run the experiment again based on your learnings, but you will always be able to go back and see what you've tried before and what the outcome was. Enter your results here. The key insights, which is the main takeaway from this experiment. And then you can also update your ideas. If you're ready, you can validate or invalidate them, or keep them in testing. Update your project, 
And if you're all done, you can click complete, which I'm not going to do now because if I complete the experiment, it's no longer editable. To view completed experiments and research, we can view the completed workspace. So the last thing to look at is evidence. In the evidence section, you'll see the evidence we just created. You can also create evidence separately here and connect it directly to ideas. The whole platform is very flexible, but this is the one, two, three of Glider. You add your ideas, test them with research and experiments, and generate evidence in doing so, which will ultimately be confirming or disconfirming of your various ideas. Over here, we can see the activity feed. This is just a long feed style format of all the data in your project. And over time, this can be a lot of different cards. So we can filter them down by favorites, by tag. This is where tags can come into play. Or by the team member who created it. The last thing to go over is posts. Posts are the social element of Glider. This is where you can share updates, relevant resources, and publish it to your activity feed. You can even at mention one of your team members to send them a specific notification. Here, you can view notifications for your project, as well as unpublished drafts, and manage your account settings in your profile icon. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us with this icon here. Thanks for checking out Glider. Please let us know if you have any questions at support at glider.io.